so back in 1947, 1928, 1911, we hit 68 degrees on this date. It looks like we would tie that and add to those years. Um, a little warmer, we break the record, we own it. A little less, we don't make the record, and we stop talking about it. So, going to be sunny and warm today is what I'm saying. 41 for the overnight low, going to be mostly clear. Nice night. Tomorrow morning is going to be cool, but not cold. It is winter time in the Pacific, or into northeast with cold air coming out of Canada and, of course, that moisture. Now, while that high pressure dominates the Pacific Northwest, all that's going to change. So we look in our tracking the pattern, you see that high continues to make its way south. That's going to be the trend. Then we're going to see that colder, more unsettled air coming out of Canada and then pulling in some of the moisture off the Pacific, dropping it right over the top of us. And that's where we're going to get, uh, again, the moisture that we're going to be seeing. So we look at our forecast. Today, great. Tonight, beautiful. Tomorrow, not bad. Maybe some increased cloud cover, but definitely cooler. Then we start to see that moisture coming in off the Pacific. That's going to be the scattered showers coming in Thursday into Friday. It'll be rain, and we'll see mountain snows potential. Friday morning, yeah, that snow could be at Mount Spokane. That'd be great news. But you can see the rain continuing to be with us through Friday night in through Saturday. So we look at the wet weather chances, and yeah, we're going to see uh, temperatures that are going to climb, or the uh, the percentage of moisture, 60-70% chance Friday, Saturday, um, Sunday, 40-50% to 50 chance, and then Monday we're going to have about that 40-50% to 50 chance. So wet weather is moving in, no doubt about that, so get ready for it. Our highs today are going to be 68, 66 in a quarter lane. And we'll see 61 tomorrow, 57 on Thursday, Friday, 55. And again, increased rain showers and chance of rain for Friday and Saturday. So we'll call it rainy. And then mid 40 Sunday, Monday. We're going to see some changes. Uh, but we'll welcome the first full day of spring tomorrow. I'm Mark Peterson. The First Alert Weather app is free and available in the App Store. And it still has a perfectly good use.